Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well this video today is just about a little hot tip and I think most of you know about it to be honest um, but maybe like myself some of you don't actually utilize it or we forget to use it. Now when you're getting old like me of course your eyesight is not as good as it, or as it should be and I find myself constantly going like this especially when I'm coming in for a landing trying to watch my speed I'm constantly now when my head is down here of course I can't see what the plane is doing I don't know if my I don't know where I am in regards to the uh, the runway how close I am where I'm going and uh, it's not a good idea to have your head down that is why some planes have heads up displays uh, like this one um, now there is another way you can keep an eye on your speed you can keep an eye on your figures the speed and your altitude and everything your actual plane is doing without uh, putting your head down or lifting your head up and that is of course holding down the alt key moving your mouse over the MDF or the display you want to expand click the mouse button and it comes up like this now this is not very good of course uh, because the size is not right isn't it? it blocks everything so you just grab the corner of the display bring it down to a size that you can read very very clearly and just drop it down into the corner somewhere where it's not intrusive somewhere where it's out of the way this is a very handy thing to do as you're coming in for a landing and I haven't been utilizing this I'm always I'm always putting my head down like this all the time um, but this is something I think I can utilize more often and um, as I'm coming in for a landing I can see the runway I can see exactly where I am and I know exactly just at a quick glance what speed I'm doing here you can see I'm doing 190 I'm at uh, 14,000 feet I don't have to put my head down and lose visual contact with anything now of course um, if you have a second monitor it's even better because you can just drag it over to your second monitor once it's on your second monitor you can make it even bigger and you can just leave that sitting on your second monitor just like a real airplane you've got multiple displays working in your flight simulator without a hundred thousand dollar simulator multi-screen setup um, you drive you, you you drag these over to your second monitor and they become your MFD displays now of course the other important one is your engine here of course you can hold alter and you can pop that one up as well and uh, that one will come up should come up like that and of course that again is way too big so you drop that down into a size that you can read that is manageable and you can drag both of these over to your spare monitor and as you're flying you just leave these open and your second monitor becomes your MFD displays which is brilliant and uh, as you're coming in for a landing you know exactly what your engines are doing you know your speed your altitude and uh, you stick put those over onto your second monitor and it doesn't destroy your display here you still looks very very nice the cockpit looks beautiful nothing intrusive here uh, but just like a real plane you just look down over look over to your second monitor and you've got your big displays there so you know exactly what your planes doing you don't have to constantly put your head down or try to see your speed and your altitude and things like that um, now of course you've also got your um, your FMC display down here uh, and you can also do it with that okay so you can drop that screen down to a size which you can see and you can also drag that over to your second or third monitor so you end up with another monitor you can end up with another monitor um, that sort of looks like this okay so your second monitor becomes your bit your 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 big large uh, MFD display just like the real plane you've got your MFD display you don't have to constantly zoom in and stick your head down to see what your plane is actually doing which is very very handy now normally this would be over this side so I'd set these up on my second monitor something like that 
because my um, my FMC is down low so I keep that down lower and I put these up here like that on my second monitor and that's what my second monitor would look like okay and you just glance over and you know exactly what your plane is doing and of course my um, my first monitor looks exactly like this and it's just brilliant guys and uh, you can't see it on your main screen so it doesn't obscure your views or anything uh, so have a think about this I think it is something that is often overlooked and not utilized um, the only nuisance with it of course is when you enlarge it it doesn't come out the right size it comes out way too big when you do it uh, so that is a little bit of a nuisance it would be good if it just sort of came out the right size as soon as you open it uh, but it doesn't but I think this is a tool that we can all use possibly a bit more it's something that's underutilized I think so pop up those screens break drag, uh, drag them over to your second monitor if you've got one or a little old TV screen you can plug in if you want to and you have a second display there very very nifty I think okay that's it for today guys just a little handy tip something that uh, I think most of you know about but uh, maybe we don't utilize very often a bit like the replay mode on the in the um, in the game happy flying guys talk to you again soon over and out ciao